Bienvenidos a esta cápsula informativa de Noticias 24 7 Informa. De inmediato pasamos a las informaciones. El gobernador Alejandro García Padilla y el comisionado residente en Washington, Pedro Pierluisi, participaron durante el día de hoy en una vista para atender la situación fiscal del país en la Comisión Senatorial de Energía y Recursos Naturales de los Estados Unidos. Allí se resaltó principalmente las consecuencias que podría tener el país si no recibe una ayuda ante la situación de falta de liquidez que tiene tiene el gobierno. To address it, my administration has reduced expenses by 20% and increased revenues by other 20% in the last three years. Despite these efforts, by the end of this year, Puerto Rico may have to choose between paying its creditors and providing essential services to the island's 3.5 million American citizens police and fire protection, health care and social services are all in jeopardy. Puerto Rico is running out of cash and will soon exhaust the emergency measures we are using to keep the government operating. When faced with the prospect of either making payments on debt obligation or paying for essential services, Puerto Rico will have no choice but to default. With no bankruptcy options, creditors will sue, dragging us into complex and costly legal battles that will only aggravate the crisis. My administration has taken our detail in my written testimony. However, independent experts tell us, and we agree, that Even if we implement all of the measures in my working group fiscal and economic growth plan, large financing gaps and unfunded pension obligation will persist. We have never asked Congress for a bailout and we are not seeking one today. We ask for access to a legal framework to restructure our liabilities. We ask for fair treatment in Medicare and Medicaid funding, for reforms that stimulate labor force participation and job creation, such as the Earned Income Tax Credit. We ask for an exemption of Joan Act, like that of the United States Virgin Islands, our closest neighbors. Treasury's recommendations address many of my administration's requests and are essential step forward. The federal government should now speak with equal force about the need to correct its immoral and illogical policy towards Puerto Rico. Because Puerto Rico is a territory, it can be and is treated worse than the states under programs like Medicaid, Medicare, refundable tax credits, SSI and Chapter 9 of the Bankruptcy Code. You cannot treat the people of Puerto Rico like second-class citizens and then profess to be surprised when we don't have a first-class economy. Nor can you claim to be shocked that in the last decade, over 300,000 island residents have relocated to the states in search of equal opportunity. This was easily foreseeable, but only if your eyes are open. I joined the Treasury Department, the National Economic Council, and HHS in urging Congress to enact a legislative package for Puerto Rico that contains provisions that give Puerto Rico more equitable treatment under spending and tax credit programs, and to grant Puerto Rico access to a fair and orderly legal process to restructure a meaningful portion of its debt. The package could also contain language authorizing Treasury to guarantee repayment of principal and interest on future Puerto Rico bonds. Puerto Rico is currently locked out of the capital markets. Amigos, recuerden visitarnos en nuestra página wipr.pr y seguirnos también a través de nuestras redes sociales en Facebook y Twitter. Será hasta entonces.